In this video, we're going to look at a demonstration of the new Hydro SV dispersion unit with the Master Sizer 3000. The dispersion unit is made up of a cuvette which is held within the measurement cell. And the first thing we're going to do is to fill the cuvette with dispersant. In this case, we're using water. And we can fill the cuvette to between 6 and 7 mils. We're using a syringe to fill it gradually so that we don't introduce any bubbles. Once we've added the dispersant, next thing is to add the magnetic stirrer bar into the cuvette and then replace the cuvette into the cell holder and lock it into place. Once the cuvette's in place, we can turn on the magnetic stirrer and then insert the measurement cell back into the optical bench. Then we can use the dial on the front of the cell to set an appropriate stir speed for the sample that we're going to measure. And then we can start the measurement process. So in the measurement manager, the first thing we'll do is add some sample details. In this case, we're measuring a, a green pigment sample. We can then take the system through its alignment and background. And while the background's been measured, we can prepare the sample. Here, the pigment's been dispersed with a little bit of surfactant and water. Once the background's been measured, we can add the sample using the pipette access on the front of the Hydro SV. This allows you to see how much sample you've added and to control the obscuration at which you make a measurement. We can then start measuring the sample and in this case we're going to do three repeat measurements. As an alternative to the pipette access, you can remove the Hydro SV cell from the optical bench to add your sample. Then when the cell is replaced, the system will automatically realign before starting the measurement. The repeat measurements that we've made are built up into a trend view and this shows stable, repeatable results, indicating that this green pigment sample is well dispersed and suspended on the Hydro SV. Once the measurement's finished, we can remove the Hydro SV from the optical bench, stop the stirrer, and then in order to clean the cuvette, we remove it from the holder. Once removed, we can empty out the cuvette, taking care not to lose the stirrer bar, and then place the empty cuvette onto the wash station. The wash station can then be used to rinse the cuvette with a suitable liquid.